Let me show you how to use a dual SIM card on your iPhone. Now, if you want multiple different phone numbers, maybe one for business, one for personal, I'll show you how to set it up. But first, hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have either a QR code or a number that your cell carrier gave you to be able to have that dual SIM. So here's just an example. It'll look like a QR code like this that you'll get in an email or something like that. Now you need that to be able to set up that dual eSIM. From here, we'll go into your settings and from here you can see in your cellular settings, here's my eSIM. So it's AT&T, it has my phone number, Wi-Fi calling, carrier services, etc. And of course I can delete that eSIM if I wanted to. But to set up another eSIM with another phone number, I need to add that eSIM. It will give you the option to add it by transferring from a nearby iPhone or a nearby Android phone. But in most cases, if you have two eSIMs, you just got one as a QR code from your carrier. So again, you can go through the process of scanning that QR code, or if you don't see that, you can go to other options here where is it? There it is, enter details manually. From here, if you didn't get a QR code, most of them give you a QR code, but you can enter in the SMDP plus address, the activation code and the confirmation code. By going through this process, it will essentially just add another eSIM that will look exactly like this. The only difference is that when you have two, two eSIMs or dual eSIMs, it will allow you to switch to which phone number you're using your data on. So essentially you can use your data, cellular data on one eSIM and not the other. But keep in mind, you will get phone calls when somebody rings either of those eSIMs. So either phone number associated with those eSIMs will receive and send calls so you'll be able to use both at any time. 